Warning, this program is intended for adults of legal drinking age. Whiskey is consumed in disgust. The intent is to educate our palates on the differences of whiskey flavors and not an intent to get drunk. Please drink responsibly. Hey everybody, welcome to I Fucking Love Whiskey. My name is Joseph Limbaugh and um, I fucking love whiskey, seriously. As always, I'm joined by my co-host, Mr. Andrew Pierce. Hi, everybody. I also fucking love whiskey. And today, our very special guest, Julie Lee, who is the director of Cold Tofu Improv here in LA and is also uh, scrolls through Instagram for inspirational quotes all night long, doesn't sleep. Uh, terrific guest. We're just delighted to have you here. An amazing Thank improviser you. and actress and uh, just super talented person. Uh, yeah. And uh, Thank you so much. I, I, I just realized that um, the intent is not to get drunk. That's, that's, right. that's yeah. the intent. Yeah. That's yeah. the intent. Okay. That's the intent. I mean, intent, so, good intentions. <laughs> Road to hell. Um, let's, uh, if you're joining us on YouTube, you can look down in the corner there. You can see approximate time codes for when we're tasting each of these whiskeys if you want to jump ahead to a particular one. Uh, but we're going to start <clears throat> right off the bat. Why wait? The show's well, called man. Love Whiskey. We fucking love whiskey. Yeah, it's not called I fucking wait until later to drink whiskey. <laughs> yeah. it's, we're drinking <laughs> whiskey now. This is the Glen Moray, 19-year-old John Milroy independent bottler, uh, distilled in 96, 53.9%. Woo! Starting off hot. Experiment barrel, I believe. Whoops. And what is this? Is this a, uh, can I see the bottle again? A refilled barrel. It's a John Mil Milroy. Nineteen years old. Nineteen years oh, old. Oh boy. Ooh. That's got a real. I don't know. It's like an an interesting organic smell to it. Um, I think it's got I mean, a little funk in it here. Yeah, definitely, definitely funk. This is like, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. It kind of tastes like or smells like um, the hospital a little bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> You're you know, not like, wrong. Like when you're about to get the shot, and I, I know it's alcohol, but but this really smells like that kind of pure alcohol. Yeah, it definitely has. Yeah, you definitely get the alcohol on this. Um, I mean, we did start off at what 50, 53 percent, so that's not surprising. But sometimes it's like it's interesting. Like I'll smell like a like a sixty percent whiskey, and it's like you don't smell the alcohol at all. It's so interesting mm -hmm. to me yeah, that it's like just depends on the on the drink. I think water might help this. Um, yeah, it does seem kind of tight. Yeah, there's something. Yeah, this is sharp. So it pierces my nose. If I was building a house, this would be like a tiny little gnome house, like with, with like a fairy gnome that lives inside of it, and it's like, and he's like, you shit, I'll never touch my whiskey. Like he's, you know, um, and, and it's like, but I already have it. He's like, well, that's that's the house that this would be, you know, and you have to like shrink down to go inside of it. That's what it would. That's, what that's it would the be. that's the smell of the whiskey. Or that's like the house is the whiskey. Don't overthink it. Okay. <laughs> All right, done. <laughs> it's a metaphor. <laughs> are, are we drinking it? All right, let's we, we can, yeah, we taste it. Oh, wow. It's sour. It kind of almost tastes bourbon-y, but yeah. not in a bad way. Like in a, not a, not in a sweet way. Like it's like, it's like a bourbon if I, if I was really fond of bourbon. It's very dry. It's it's yeah. almost like the, there's wood in my mouth that's absorbing. And at the same time, it's co it's coating everything. It's it's like a dry coating. Yeah, of, like it's, everywhere in my mouth and my throat. It's like um in the cartoons where they they drink alum. Like that's what you know. It's in their mouths get really small. Like that's that's what it reminds me of. Like my mouth is like like it's drying up. But I like it. Like I, yeah. I don't think this will be my favorite whiskey though. It could I am, be if it I was am breathing better. I am breathing better. Oh, good. Does so. it clear your sinuses? <laughs> it what is. is. <sighs> I don't know. It kind of is growing on me. Like that little man's like, oh, you've tasted my drink and now you must hug me. Hug and me. kiss me. And make out with me. <laughs> but you don't like, you don't, you don't dislike it. You're like, all right, I'll make out with you. All right. You know. The beard it's is okay. Like yeah, it, it's okay. It's like uh, there's a, a cake appearing in the finish, like um, 
some icing or or something just a nice sweetness that's on the my tongue mm -hmm. now. I get like a I get like a pound cake yeah that's what I get or maybe a rum a rum cake you know that really rich sort of um when I was in Jamaica I had like a they have of course amazing rum cakes and it's like mm. yeah that's what this kind of reminds me of I mean I feel like that's on the nose because it's like a cake that would have a booze in it but still this does have those kind of dark earthy flavors in it it feels very clean to me I just feel like it just kind of cleaned me out mm -hmm. I mean you know it sounds weird but you know drink it and then that has that sweet finish to it, it it's, it's just it tastes clean mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. am I using um the right adjectives for, for this stuff <laughs> <laughs> it's, How dare you? It's peaty. <laughs> I, I smell citrus and vanilla. <laughs> That's it. You're off the show. <laughs> he's talking to me, though. Julie. Julie. He's talking, no, he's talking to me. Talking yeah, to I was talking to Joseph, not Julie. Yes. <laughs> You're taking uh, my place. So we're doing this now with the pipette. Did, oh, we're doing it. I'm going to take one you don't more have sip because I do. I do kind of really like this. It's. I'm close to saying this is my favorite whiskey, um, but I, it's hard to start off with that. But um, I'm going to go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, you know, I'm this definitely grew on me because at first it was like, ah, whoa, and now it's 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 very nice. So, oh, all right. Um, you're going to have to walk me through this. It's oh, it's just, it's it's one drop. Yeah, just take some water in there. Let one drop fall. And uh, the purpose of this. <laughs> um, what the science says is that this pushes the um alcohol molecules apart and lets more of the flavor appear and so it should you should open up the nose it should open up the taste a little bit and i'm, I'm thinking it really opens up the taste huh did you just drink I after just doing a that sip of it yeah after the water it, it's open like up it flattens more. the nose out a bit not in a bad way though the nose the nose is maybe not as alcoholy yeah mm -hmm. not as bitey No, this is good. I like this. Let's hmm. see, what are, some, what are some adjectives for good? <laughs> you want a thesaurus site? <laughs> yeah, I like this. I don't like it as much with the water. I like no? it for the water. Yeah, it has more of an edge to it with the water. It burns a bit more to me, and it's more sour in a way that I don't like as much. Mm. Uh, this, I, I find that cake is gone in the finish. Mm -hmm. yeah, the sweetness is gone. So yeah, that's a that's a no yeah. on water then for that guy. Thad, did you try this? Did you try it with water? I want to know what Thad thinks. I have not tried it with water yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want to know if I'm crazy or not. I mean, aren't we all a little crazy? Yeah. And you can be right and crazy. Hmm. Good point. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, so, uh, are you one of the founders of Cold Tofu, or you're just the current artistic director? I no, it was founded in 1981. So, how dare you? Um, no, but this <laughs> no, this is the, the first and longest running Asian American improv uh, group in the world. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's founded by four women of color, three Japanese Americans, one Mexican American woman, and uh, yeah, we're still around. It's our fortieth anniversary this year. Congratulations! Yeah, yeah. So no, I did not found this company, Andrew. Oh. There you. We just met. No. Did <laughs> you being sixty years old? I'm such a jerk. <laughs> no, but I became the artistic director. Oh my gosh, six, seven years ago ish. It goes by so fast. I know. I feel like I just took the reins from Helen Ota. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Joseph's great. been teaching. Well, he used to perform with cold tofu like 20 years ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, was it 20 years ago? I don't think it was that long ago. Like it was like around 2000. That was 20 years it was, ago. Like it was right when I moved out here, like not too long. I would do like, because yeah, Robert Covrubius was my hookup. And uh, he's guess, everyone's almost... hookup. Robert's everyone's <laughs> hookup. Well, I've known him for a long time too. Like Robert Covarrubias is another, you know, person that's been on the scene forever. Like yeah. I did improv with him back in the nineties. Like, you know what I mean? Like where? Before, before I founded dad's garage, just at like festivals. Like he was with LA theater sports and I was with Portland theater sports and we did. Oh shit. We did. Yeah. I met him, I think in, I think in Edmonton in like 90 or 91. Hey, Andrew, that's, isn't that your, your neck of the woods? I, I'm at the Fringe Festival yeah. in Edmonton. Yeah. Edmonton Fringe. We did that. Uh, we did a number of shows at the Fringe. Yeah. 
That's like that. That was kind of, I don't know. For me, it was the heyday of improv. Like, I don't know if there really is a heyday of improv, but like improv is like, everybody's like, it's the new thing. And like, you know, it, it, like theater sports was all over and um, yeah, it was cool. Crazy was great fun. festivals. And yeah. Yeah. That, the, especially the, the Canadian festivals, because they were very, you know, like let's bring groups from all over and just have them all play together. And every, it was, it was like a competition, but like in not really. And it was just about like just hanging out with improvisers from all around, you know, the country so cool. and the world. Yeah. How did you afford to try? I mean, it doesn't pay. Like improv isn't like a lucrative venture. Are you money at improv? What? I um <laughs> for some improv. reason there was like a grant that I got to go up to Edmonton to oh. do this. Like it was it was insane. Like I was like twenty one, I think twenty or twenty one, and I got this grant to go up to Edmonton and do. It was like the best. It was like the best thing. And I went to the, you know, I also did the summer school, like at the Loose Moose, um, which I believe I paid for myself. That was in, in, you know, in Calgary and worked with wow. Keith. And that was like, that was mind blowing. Like, I still think like for me, you know, like the stuff that Keith teaches is the, that's the stuff that I, you know, that I teach. It's like, like that guy has some good ideas. Yeah. He has some, <laughs> has some good ideas. Yeah. Um, That's and awesome. growing up in Calgary and, and, you know, I went to the Loose Moose to see a show and like immediately after that show, my sister dragged me to it and I was like, I need to do that. Yeah. I just, I need to do it. And so I took courses and, you know, I studied with Keith and Jim Curry and Ingrid and just like a whole, a whole list of people that are in that first impro book. Wow. That's, it's surprising to me. People like, I've heard some improvisers be like, yeah, I've seen Loose Moose perform. It's not that great. I don't, I don't understand that. Like to me, it's like every performance I've seen there was amazing. Like just amazing you know um but yeah i don't know what do you you know what are you gonna what are you gonna do it's subjective yeah things that are subjective like art i don't know where i'm going with that um but we're, we're going the journey with you well you know yeah. i mean it's it's almost like 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 reality we don't have to get into that but like reality is now subjective right it's i guess it always has been but you know so it, that was crazy. supposed to end during the Enlightenment, right? Is that like, <laughs> now we have like an objective reality, or right? There's ways to test things to see if they're true or not. Yeah. Science, weird. Hey, um, I know it might be just a titch early, but only a couple minutes. I'm kind of excited by this next one. This is an old particular, another independent bottler. This oh, is from Lock Moment. <laughs> this is a single grain whiskey but it is all malt. So it is uh, made from barley, just barley, no wheat or rye in here or corn, um, but it's made with a column still rather than a pot still. So a column still is more industrial you know, um, uh, work. It, it continuously feeds fluid into it and continuously distills, unlike the pot still where you, you put a batch in, then you heat it, and then it comes out, and then you put another batch in, you heat it, it comes out. That's the pot still, that's the traditional way of making all the other whiskeys. This is just like a column just kind of just you keep feeding stuff in and it keeps distilling. Um, so it's a little bit different, but it is all malt. So it's all barley. It should have a lot more flavor than just a single grain. Um, you know. So there's a difference between a single grain and a single malt. Yes. So the single refers to it's from a, a single distillery. Okay. A single malt, right? It may be from multiple casks. This is from a single cask. Um, and uh, the grain means that it's not done you can't call it a malt, even if it's all barley. If you're doing a column still, you have to have a pot still for it to be called a malt. Because you get more flavor out of the pot is what they say. Uh, so it's interesting. I've just totally flummoxed you. I'm <laughs> She's sitting here going, what show did I get on? What are they doing? I don't know. You kind of flummoxed me too, Andrew. This, that was, this is like, I usually follow all your whiskey information, but that was like, uh, yeah, it was a bit more complicated than, you know, I, I mean, I thought like knowing what a worm tub was, was like, you know, that was a, that was an achievement. But you I'm know not, what I though? I think that that wasn't on Andrew because the way you explained it seemed very simple and straightforward. I don't know why I couldn't follow it though, but I, it seemed like I should be following it. So I'm very embarrassed right now. So you're saying you can't have a single malt unless it's a tube still is that right or unless am it's I... a pot still unless it's a pot still it has to be a pot still to be a single malt you can't have so all single malts come from a pot still yes okay a, a pot still will will be kind of like a bulb at the bottom right and then go up to this neck and then the line arm coming out of it whereas the column still is like just a cylinder so this is a single grain not a single malt 
Yeah. Even though this is 100% barley, there's no wheat or corn or anything else. Uh, because you can't make a single malt with a uh, column. With, with a column still. Right. Okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. I'm gonna need but, like 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 visuals with, with this. Like, 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 you know what? You know what? Let's just, just let's just do a PowerPoint. How many column stills are there? Like, is this common? Uh, like, is this? I mean, most of the the grain whiskeys they make to make to put in blends are are from a column still because it is a faster means of production. But they like, don't they don't sell them. They generally put them in blends. So this yeah. is unusual. It's unusual to see a, a yeah. single grain kind of market but you know um old particular has right. been doing that when they find a, a, a barrel that's interesting rather than putting it into one of their blends they'll let it out as a single you know if, if you can put all that in a meme i think i will get it like okay. instantaneously yeah. it, it will be a it'll be a nine page meme <laughs> footnotes, but yeah it's like it's like the one with like the guy and he's with a single grain right or he's with single malt and he's, but like, he's looking turning back, around he's looking, <laughs> looking back and the, the other girl is like single grain and it's like column still, right? <laughs> yeah, and perfect. the other one pot still. There, I did it. There's a meme. No, yeah. and, and and the column still is like. Yeah. yeah. Right? It's, it's, no, the pot it's still. That. The pot still will be like. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Done. Perfect. We just created your meme for you, Andrew. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah I'm hoping right. someone at home. I'm sure Thad will, is building yeah. it right now. He'll put it up at any time. <laughs> we're, we're sniffing this. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Wow. Oh, that's like I would. It's almost a candy store whiskey, but it's it's got that same it's that same direction, but it's not as sweet. Not as sweet. Oh, I was thinking it is. Oh, it's so sweet. He's talking about whiskeys we've had previously, not the not oh, the previous. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. This is um, this is this definitely is sweeter than the one we just mm -hmm. had, but it's like as far as all the because I like to sometimes call it a whiskey a candy store whiskey, and this room has that same sort of yeah candy um, store. Yeah, but it's like a candy store with just like sour citrus candies. Um, maybe it's like sour citrus gummies is, is in the whole store. Gummies, no gnomes. No gnomes here. This no is a full gnomes. size. This is a full size house. None of those kissy gnomes. No. Yeah. <laughs> Sloppy kissy gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> you missed a well. This is a well lived in room. This is yeah. Um, oh, Twenty two years. I'm going in. I'm going in. Okay. She's legal. Oh my God, that's my favorite whiskey. Yeah. I really, I really like that. Oh boy. Yeah, that reminds me of an SMWS. Like it's so interesting. It's an unusual flavor. Like it's, I, there's, I think there's like, like once again, the joke is like, it tastes like citrus, but there's like several citrus flavors in here, I think. Yeah, it's very effervescent in the finish. It feels like it's fizzing on my tongue a little bit. I feel like it's Bernie on my tongue. Yeah. A, mm -hmm. a little Bernie. Or Bernie, little, not little. Sanders. Um, B U R N right. dash dash Y, Bernie. Well, Scotch is the opposite of democratic socialism. I think. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, it's the most exclusive, expensive drink in the world. But but there is there are like there are scotches that you know regular people can buy too. We do really? we do say that, and you know I'm not a wealthy person, and you know I I drink scotch so. You don't have to. In fact, I think this one, um, search for it here. I think that's the, um, yeah, that's like the, the uh, stereotype of scotch is like, you know. Yeah, it's exclusive, but it's, it's that. Uh... Just the gummies and the shop owner has no teeth. Oh yeah, I can see that. The shop owner is like an old person <laughs> with no teeth and uh, they sell sour gummy candies. Yeah, this was this was sixty five dollars at at um, K and L. Are you serious? Do they still have it? No, I bought this in twenty eighteen. It's it's. Oh. Uh, and Joseph loves this one. I do. I, mean, I really like it. Yeah. You say it's expensive, but sixty five bucks, and like I've only had this much of it over that time, and I still, you know, I still got lots more to enjoy. So I'll be back to this bottle, you know. Yeah, if you think about like you buy like two bottles of wine or three bottles of wine that like that that could be you know sixty dollars. Right? right. You're gonna drink like some people will drink that in a night. You know, not by themselves, hopefully, hopefully but you know. You know, I'm just used to drinking um, throughout my 20s and later teens, Crown Royale, Crown Crown mm. Royal. Hey, it's Canadian. Canadian. Um, <laughs> <That's crap. laughs> no, yeah, sorry. but you know, I was first introduced to Crown Royal um, going Korean, like clubbing in Koreatown. 
Oh. But they would sell these bottles for two hundred dollars. Yeah, for you know, like the standard, you know, for two hundred bucks. And then I remember I was at Vons in college, just you know, grocery shopping like an adult, and I saw it on sale for thirteen ninety nine. I was like, what the fuck? Uh -huh. I, I thought Crown Royal was like the shit. It's not. It's disgusting. It's not. Garbage. Yeah. Sixty dollars is twenty bottles of wine. I guess if you go to Trader Joe's and get, you know, three buck chuck, right? Yeah. Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> if you want good wine, you know, you're gonna pay more than. Maybe like, like I, don't know. I, I, there are plenty of wine drinkers who buy ten, twenty dollar bottles. I, I like. Yeah, I think, I think ten and twenty, you get yeah. lots of good wine. But I think yeah. at five dollars, you're probably not getting. Yeah. Yeah. Quick question: When you pour it beforehand and cover it, it's just so you can get the nose of it. It doesn't yeah. make this better or anything. No, no, it's, it just collects <laughs> the aroma in here. So That's when you take it. it off, you get a really good um, yeah. idea of what the, the the nose is on the. Yeah, like it, I think it's like something like whiskey that people um, uh, confuse wine and whiskey because whiskey doesn't like age in the bottle. It mm. does not age in the bottle. Like once it's in the bottle, it's done. It ages in the cask, but then once you put it in, in a glass bottle, then it just sits there and it waits for you to drink it. Like it can oxidize a bit. You don't want it to get, like if your whiskey gets low, then mm -hmm. you, you know, you can worry about it changing in flavor in a, not necessarily in a good way, but. Um, yeah, and that's, that's like if you, you know, sample bottles yeah. like this, when it gets really low, I just put it in here and then that's the last of the cask. It's not going to have a lot of oxidation going on. I see. Oh, uh, Bodie Cooper can ferment a whole lot of grape soda for 60 bucks. I, I just, yeah. <laughs> grape soda, that's wine. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, you know, do, do we think water? We're going to try water. Yeah, we should probably try it. I'm going to take another sip, though. Try it without I, I really, really like it. So we have to show that we're doing this, right? You don't have to. Yeah, you don't right. have to. <laughs> With, yeah. yeah. Do what you gotta do. This is just for show because we've been doing it for a while. Science. And then let it wake up. I'm getting oh, tobacco in the nose now. Is that just me? Yeah. Like just an oily leaf, not not lit tobacco. I'm also getting like flowers, like a field of like pungent flowers. Um like not necessarily sweet flowers, but flowers that have like an interesting, you know, almost sweet smell to them. Really? Very organic now. I really like that smell. I like what it does to the nose. How does it sound? Like a seashore. Mm -hmm. I was going to say the ocean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hear adventures playing. <laughs> it sounds like the Pogues. <laughs> You know, I, I, I pref, I pref, I liked the, the Glen. Did we not do that here? Like, uh, say what we like more. No, you can totally, you can yeah. totally, you know. Yeah, you can Actually, rate them. That's yeah. yeah. Please do. I, I liked the Glen Morey one. I feel like this one, the, the um, it's a little complicated. Mm -hmm. It's a little mm -hmm. complicated. Yeah, I would agree. It's hard to unpack. Like, I mean, yeah. I definitely feel like it's easier to. Um, if it's a little easier to describe, I sometimes like it more, but there's, there's like stuff going on in here that I can't describe. I think organic and tobacco-y kind of fit the bill here. It's very mm -hmm. like, you know. Yeah. You know. I don't know. Oh, uh, Some there's also a, a smell of like, of like, I, I want to say decay of like, um, uh -huh. like almost like mold or mildew or, and it's weird because I like it. Like it's a smell like that, but I. But it's like, but in a good way. Mm -hmm. it's well, so weird. It's so weird with Scotch, where it's like you'll say something like, "Oh, it's like a, a band aid," but I like you know, like an old used band aid, but in a good way. Yeah, no, I, not by. I have said that. <laughs> I have said that. You did say the first one that you liked tasted like a hospital or smelled like a hospital. So, it, but it, yeah, but you know, you don't know how I feel about hospitals, Joseph. <laughs> No, that's true. We don't. True. You're right. Um, How do you but, feel about them? 
I never go. But um, but this one, yeah, I think de decay is an interesting word for it. It has a very earthy, like, um, yeah, I don't know. Like I was gonna say, if this was a house um, now <laughs> that I'm smelling it, it's a house that like is has been abandoned for a long time and is uh -huh. covered with plants. And you walk inside of it, and it smells like, you know, you smell earth. And there's earth like inside of the house. There's plants maybe even growing inside the house. You know, like if you've ever been in a house that's like, um, or a building that's just you know, been overgrown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah or or like 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 a dusty attic. It yeah, has, it has this like settled, complicated thing going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are, are you both just nodding because like you have to? Oh, I'm trying to be supportive. No. I, I I'm agreeing with you. I, I can see that. It's 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 an yeah, old. It's a, room. it's a. It's been here a while. Whatever this room is, because there's all sorts of things going on, organic things going on with the materials mm -hmm. that make the walls and the floor. And yeah, there's 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 a lot happening here. Maybe like an old book. <clears throat> yeah it is it like it, that complication because that's one of the things about scotch it's like that that those complicated organic smells that you only get from stuff that's organic you know what i mean like it's mm -hmm. it's i don't know it's so interesting because like in an old attic there's like you know there's like the, the the animals that have lived there there's like the old wood there's like the old whatever whatever's been stored there when you there's... say animals you mean like like raccoons could be raccoons or rats or bats or you know oh, or just shit. the dust mites you know there's a lot of stuff that yeah, lives yeah. in an attic yeah. you know and 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 like the real wood in antique furniture yeah like all that stuff just together it's, yeah it's been oiled and, and stained and it's got mm -hmm. oh oh so much good stuff there <sighs> well yeah. uh, that is that is interesting that's an all grain that's uh or all yeah. grain i really i like it i think it's cool Very interesting uh, how about we move on to something a little bit more um, common in the whiskey world, which is a sherry cask finished. Uh... <laughs> well, Daryl, can you tell I like this one? Can you tell? I can't tell. <laughs> That's just from what you poured for us, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is um, and this so this is a this would be a bell a bell still or a, what was the other one? The, there was the pot column pot, pot still pot, pot still yeah, and this I'm is making things up. 2006, so that makes it uh, 13 years old because uh, it was bottled in 2019. Uh -huh. um, and the process stops once it goes into the bottles. Yes, mm -hmm. and this is bottle 54 of 507 they got out of the sherry cask. Oh. I can... Paul Blair, okay. Oh my God. Just north of Inverness. Wow, that oh. Oh boy, wow. Wow, I gotta say is that that reminds me of vinegar. It reminds me of East of making Easter eggs as a child. This is like a box of seized chocolates when you open the <laughs> right? This is a yeah. big nose. Wow, that really hits you. It's weird, it's like sweet, but not in a candy store way. But yeah, I'm still getting just vinegar. Chocolate store. Yeah. I get Chocolate I get store. Some chocolate covered bread. Just, just dripping. Mm. Such an interesting smell. I like it. Yeah. Me too. Man, I had to sit down for this. <laughs> I mean, I haven't tasted this, and I'm, I'm probably gonna say this is my favorite whiskey. Oh fuck! I fucking love whiskey. You know, it's just so exciting to to come across these new aromas and flavors. You know, it smells like like those chocolate covered strawberries. Mm. You know, when it has that sweet, sharp scent. Yeah, the, the, the berry uh, mm -hmm. freshness to it, yeah. Or, or cherries or, you know. Yeah, I'm definitely getting berries. <clears throat> like uh, maybe maybe raspberries, maybe like chocolate covered raspberries. I've never had chocolate covered raspberries. Me neither, but I love I raspberries. Not lived. <laughs> and I, I've, I've never, I've, chocolate covered strawberries, that's all I, I think the only berry I've had covered in chocolate, but I'm like, I think raspberries would be good in chocolate. Why not? They would be. Everything would be good in chocolate, really. Yeah. You know. Except for, well, your girlfriend or boyfriend? No. No, that probably be <laughs> also good in chocolate. Oh, chocolate dipped in chocolate? I think that could work. So, what were you insinuating, Joseph, when you said except for? Yeah. What? Honestly, I, I had no nothing in my mind. 
I thought, I, hoping I, one of us I, thought would, I thought one of you would be like, yeah. And then nope. say something, you know, but both like what? what wouldn't be good in chocolate, though. I think that's a fun, that's a fun game. Like what wouldn't be good dipped in chocolate? Like bumblebees, wasps. Bumblebees. That's, that's living, fun. living bumblebees or wasps. Yeah. But honestly, if they were dead and you dead? ate them, yeah. they probably would be good. I'm not coming over to your house to eat. I'm a, rice. I'm a, good, I'm a good cook. I think rice. rice and, rice and chocolate. I don't think that would be good. Like like a like a like a sticky rice or like a, a crunchy oh, rice things. dipped in chocolate. That I think that. Oh, look at him! Look it's at him! We are taste those. It. Wow! Wowie! The chocolate delivers. Um, oh my god! That is I'm, like a rich syrup going down my throat. Mm -hmm. How is that possible? That that is fifty six percent. That's the highest alcohol whiskey we've had so far no burn at all like it's just like it's like a it's it's like a a liqueur or like a a, a sweet sugar like what the hell how is this possible i i I'm... love whiskey i fucking love it <laughs> i'm i'm walking into a, you know a french chocolatier and and they're just pouring the vat of chocolate out right there and then putting it into the forms that are going to make the little oh it's just amazing wow this is what that kid that that like jumped into the river of chocolate at um Willy Wonka's Willy Wonka. when he was drinking it. Like this is what it tasted like. Like he was like, this is why I would jump into that river. Oh. I'd fall into it. It's really good. I hope you know sign language because this is how I'm expressing it. Bob Blair. Is that how you pronounce it? Bob 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 Blair, yes. Bob Blair. Generally oh with God. the um with the Gaelic, the accent is on the second syllable. Bob Blair. Bob Blair. I and this is one where I'm like I don't want to science this like I, I don't I don't I, it's so good, it's absolutely my favorite whiskey. This is really just I don't want to science it. Crazy, okay. Thad, Thad, what's the story? What do you what, what's your story? Oh, you're doing it. I want to hear Thad. You do it. Um, so a couple things. Uh, on the nose. Uh, so I grew up with three sisters, and the one thing that I get out of the nose is makeup. Like, if you crack open up a makeup uh, thing and, like, that dust particulate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and as an actor who, like, you know, in college, like, bought makeup to, like, wear for theater, you know, like, yeah. Sure. That's I, why I, I bought it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then on the taste, uh, on the palate, uh, for me, like, very umami. Like, um, like, if you had, like, salmon sashimi and, like, you dipped it in some soy sauce. And, and like. I, I actually don't get the chocolate um, for whatever reason. Like for, for me, it's very savory. It's, it's very, it's very like so melting bad. your mouth savory. Yeah, I can see that. That's so good. I can see that. That's delightful, huh. yeah. And this may be my favorite whiskey, so. Yeah. Give yourself an alert. <laughs> it does give me that sense to like, of going to like a really amazing, um, uh, sushi chef who like bakes something or roasts something and then it's like the it's like just like buttery fish that just like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just buttery eat, mm -hmm. it. yeah yeah it, it it coats but very lightly it's like a, yeah. it's like a very light creamy or like a like a beef bourguignon that's the other thing like that's sort of like it's been you know we we've abrased this in wine for hours and it's like all the mushrooms and onions and the meat have all gone blue and it's like and you take a like a bit of that bit of that beef in your mouth it's just like it melts in there and you know that super rich savory you know sensation yeah would you say it's more savory or sweet <laughs> Of a I don't know, like after Thad said that, like I, I'm definitely getting I know, a lot right? of savory. But like even when it was chocolate, it wasn't like sweet chocolate. It was like really right. rich chocolate. Yeah. 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 Um, I like it with water. I think more of the savoriness comes out. God, I'm gonna have to put I'm gonna have to science this, aren't I? I uh, the nose, I get more of the dustiness with the water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I do think it's like a chocolate dust. I think it is just powdered chocolate after you've sprinkled a cake with something. <laughs> I mean, it also, you know, like a mole sauce is the other thing that's kind of reminds me. Oh, mole. Which, yeah, which just, has, it's savory and it has fucking chocolate in it. So, yeah. you know. You can see that. Mole is like, that's the hardest fucking sauce to make. 
Like it has so many ingredients and you have to do so many, it, like it's, yeah, I love mole, but like I've made it once and I was like, I will never do this again. I will only yeah. buy Don't like let pre, pre-created mole because. No, I, I think mole is a perfect way to describe this because mole is chocolatey, but it's not like chocolate, but it's chocolatey. It has mm-hmm. that, yeah, yeah. Mole probably is my favorite sauce, mole sauce. I think. Have you ever had homemade mole? I mean, I've made it. Oh, shit. Yeah. Can we come uh, over? Once. once. Was, it, yeah. was it good? <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was great. But it's like, you have to like, you know, you, you have to like roast peppers in a dry pan and then you have to roast spices in a dry pan. And it's like, and really? it's a lot of spices too. It's like, oh, it's like, what do you have in your, what do you have in your spice cabinet? Put all that in there. <laughs> and you better, you better have like, you know, like, like, you know, um, not like ground versions of it, but like, you better have like, like the know, leaves. Yeah. The, the original. Yeah. Oof. You guys aren't drunk like with, with the you water. Guys, you guys aren't little, drunk. I'm yeah. slightly buzzed, but yeah. Are you drunk? You know, I haven't drank during the quarantine much. What? Unlike What's most wrong people. With you? Yeah. Unlike everyone else. I know. Like, I mean, good for you. Good, good for, you. for you. Yeah, but I'm a social drinker, so I, I only drink with other people. And you know, we've been alone for the most part. So there's there's no one to, it's not fun to drink alone. No. Well, that's yeah. why we do the show. <laughs> Honestly, it's to, you know, to, and, and whiskey is better shared. I, I really do believe that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I, I have all these bottles that I don't touch. If I don't do the show, they just sit there. So I, I got to do this. Yeah. I mean, do, does your audience ever want to like be like, hey, can I just sit with you guys? <laughs> and like drink with you? That would I mean, be fun to plan. have like, that's the ultimate yeah, plan, right? have like a whiskey hour and not just, you know, like a, but just whoever wants to come, let's, let's get drunk. You know? We um, yeah, we have a club actually. At, oh at shit! Park. Okay, and, well then, yeah. Uh, we're we're doing that. We're we're buying bottles and we're distributing little sample bottles to everyone, so everyone can taste the same thing. I mean, that, that's what is so interesting about this show. It's it's essentially the show, but it's just in we're not broadcasting it. Oh, and then can anyone just like sign up for it? Or it's just friends. <laughs> well, you know, we have to buy the bottles and distribute the bottles, and so there's yeah, a yeah. finite number like of a... people we can add to that. You know, but you have people just kind of like. You can't see both my hands, sorry. You know? Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> in, in case you didn't understand what this meant. <laughs> it's the, it's no. the universal symbol. It means fishing. Everybody knows this means fishing. <laughs> I mean, you're right. That's what you meant. You meant like fishing, right? Yeah, yeah. Fishing for whiskey. Yeah. No, this is great. Yep. <sighs> ah. Oh. Yeah, but mole, I think that that's a great way of... Uh, it's interesting though because I totally felt the sweetness of it initially, but 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 that was like very like it's umami. It's like oh, I I can see that too. I think I think mole kind of just nailed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Joseph. A blend of oh, that. Thanks. It is one of the things. That's one of the reasons I like hearing what the guest thinks or what someone else thinks about because it's. I, I mean, I guess it's partially kind of leading the witness, but it's also like it opens my mind to that. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I didn't recognize that flavor in here. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. Cool. So, Julie, where where else? Uh, where did you study improv? Cool tofu. Well, Joseph, he was he was one of my uh, first instructors. You know, it was, it was cool tofu instructors with Robert Kovarubias, Aaron Takahashi, Helen Ota, um, and then like, getting out, out outside instructors, which included Joseph. I, I want to say like Joseph was probably one of my um... least favorite. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I hear that a lot. I think I probably. Like you were one of the guys that came in all the time. I think I trained with you definitely one of the most often, you know, like you were one of my, yeah, Joseph was great. Everybody loves Joseph Lumba. Oh my God, he's so fun. And then Cartoon Overlord, that was like, oh shit, you can do other stuff with improv? I mean, I, you know, I was like an improv newbie, you know? And then Cartoon Overlord just blew my mind. It was so fun. Can you just quickly for for your audience who, you know, doesn't know what that is. Can you just describe what Cartoon Overlord was, just? <laughs> We'd all like to hear. Um, it was an improvised cartoon. That's it. We, like, people would come in, they would draw pictures on, like, a template, and we scanned them into a computer. Draw their own, in, like, body parts. And then, uh, would, would you, you just scan different the parts. You wouldn't cut it out. Or did you cut it out? It was all cut out by the computer. Like, it was like a, it was like a paper doll, kind of. You would draw the, uh, the character, and then, um, the performers would use video game controllers to, to, you know, move the characters around, kind of like puppetry. It was like a combination of like puppetry and 
um, computers, I guess. Yeah. But there's like a lot of stuff going on now that's in that same area. Right, know? right. No, no, no. Yeah. But it was so innovative because this was what, what, 2005, six? Yeah. Yeah. It was super early. It was one of the first, if not the first. What was it? The, the computer that it ran on, like, I, I wrote all the code myself uh, using software called Dark Basic, which is like, uh, which was like a game design software. And, um, I built uh, the computer only cost me like a hundred dollars. Like I didn't have any money. So I like got all these cheap parts and built this computer to run it on. And sometimes I would be like compiling the code before the show. Like I would literally be like, oh, I got to fix this bug that I just covered. And I would like compile the code. And I was like, I think it was like 10,000 lines of code. Like there was a, no wait, that's not that. It was not, maybe a thousand lines of code. It was a lot of code, whatever. It was a lot. I remember it being a lot of code. Like, it'd be accurate or not. It got to the point where that, you know, how you compile code. If you're, if you're, you know, someone who's a geek, you compile code and you like, you go to compile it. And it's like, now I've got to wait for a while while it like turns it into machine language or whatever. But, wow. And then, and then who would voice the characters? Was it volunteers from the audience who would voice the characters? No, we had improvisers. I mean, there's yeah, kind of like this was. whole overarching thing of the overlord who was like a, like a, a dictatorial presence. I think George Bush was the president at the time and that <laughs> kind of inspired me. Um, but like, yeah, uh, but it was like the overlord came and took over earth and was like, you better give me like everybody in my, my, you know, my dictatorship has to make something and your planet earth has to make cartoons. So you make me cartoons and I'll, I won't blow it up and they better be good. So it was like, it was, I don't know, it was like a combination of like the, the role-playing game paranoia and like, you uh. know, 1984 and it was, I don't know, it was dark Very cool. and funny, but light at the same time. Yeah. So what was your role in the show? I, I can't, it was so long ago. I was the you, sub, sub commander. Okay, that's what it was. Because you had, when I think of happy, low status as like an improv thing, that was a quintessential, lovable, happy, just like so delightful, happy, low status character. I, that's who I think of when I think you want to get happy, low status. That is that character. You guys didn't see it, but it's a show that I saw 15 years ago. <laughs> Thank you. That was a really fun show. Okay. Yeah. And I always talk about of, bringing it back. But right. Because I mean, I mean, now it's probably easier with all the technology. One would think. Yeah. I've been playing around with Unity. Um, I'm pretty good at like, you know, building some stuff. But yeah. 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 You're a more hardcore nerd than I am. I mean, I, I got a degree in computer science, two degrees in computer science, and I have never built my own computer. Really? That's hardcore. Yeah. You should build a computer. It's really fun. It's not hard to do. And for that? It's not, it doesn't take that long. Maybe like a day. All right, fine. To build a computer? Yeah. Well, you have to know what you're doing. You can't Google you, you every term. See, like, no, you, you have, have to spend like a month or a couple weeks like like researching because like I've built a computer several times. The, my most recent computer I built, um, it, yeah, it, I, you know, it, because like the last time I built a computer, everything was different. So you have to like research and figure out like what sort of motherboard you need right. to buy and what sort of components are like popular now but it's, it's, it's yeah i find it i don't know i like it it's cheaper yeah, to build like it too it. than to you know to to um buy uh, it i think so yeah 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 cheaper um i'm really excited about this fourth one i don't know anything i uh, do about i do love ardbeg like ardbeg is ardbeg is ardbeg and port charlotte are my two favorite whiskeys right now i mean ardbeg, what, what are you yeah. saying ardbeg what what is that? Ardbeg's one of the distilleries, but this is from Ardmore. Oh, more Ard than- I also like Ardmore. <laughs> the Ardmore, yes, sorry. Sorry, I'm thank fired. you. I'm <laughs> fired. Je suis bien, which means I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. So uh, I don't know how they came up with that. We'll read the tasting notes after, <clears throat> but uh, we're going for this SMWS. Mm. Ooh, that is smooth. Mm -hmm. Boy, what the? It's smoky, but not overwhelming. Kind of reminds me of like black art, and I'm drinking it out of a black art glass. Uh oh. Like it has that same sort of. Um... Did you rinse that glass? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I did. <clears throat> oh, this is really nice in the nose. Yeah, it is. What are you getting, Julie? You know, I think I have limited life experience because I also feel like this is like a box of chocolate covered strawberries. 
Because you know how chocolate covered strawberries, it, it has a slight alcoholic y smell to it. You know, do you, you don't feel that? I can, I can get there. Yeah. But it, do you smell the smokiness? Do you smell any any smoke in there, like a campfire or campfire? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm also highly um, suggestible, so I don't know. You smell baby heads in this? Yeah. You smell the cactus, mm. like the mm -hmm. the cactus that have been dipped in honey. Mm. Now we're just being jerks. Yeah, we're being jerks. Um, no, but, but I, actually, you know I what? Do. I think I'm wrong. I think I smell like baby head, like you know, the smell of a baby's head, just like how fresh and like a little baby, you know, that's you know, soft. For me, it's like the head of a cat, which is exactly the same as a baby head. You know, you when well, you know you hold your cat and you're like, oh, your head is so adorable. You know, <laughs> you do. No. You know, you hold your cat and you like scratch his little cheeks. And you're like, oh, your tiny head is so sweet. <laughs> right. <laughs> Can you show us? You have a cat, right, Joe Smith? Yeah. He, yeah, I mean, I can summon him. Do you want me to summon him? Yeah, summon him and show us exactly what you're talking about. Because I. Cuero don besto. I can't. Yeah, he likes the Spanish lady. The what? Um, he likes. I, I was learning Spanish in Duolingo and. Oh um, yeah, isn't it Duolingo? I, is it Duolingo or Duolingo? I think, I think it's Duolingo. Like yeah, lingo. I think you're right. No, yeah. you're right. I think the U O is just at the duo. Um, but anyway, uh, he's obsessed with the voice of the woman who teaches Spanish. Oh, Duolingo. Uh, Andrew, so we'll um, do you do you speak other, other languages? I speak uh, uh, French, really bad French, mm -hmm. and um, an atrocious Mandarin. Ni hao. Ni hao. What's what? What's Oh, I don't know what that. I, don't know I want to take an airplane to Hong Kong. Oh, cool. Oh. No, I, I, I'm actually doing Duolingo in Mandarin. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, not not regularly, but you know, like whenever I have, I'm bored. Mm -hmm. Well, there was a time um, back in the early 2010, like 2012, sort of thing. I was. Um, oh, there he is. There he is, Bowie. All right, now Joseph, show us your little um, talking baby head, um, like cat head. Well, now he's on, my, he's on my lap, so. You have no control over your pets, Joseph. This is my favorite whiskey. What is that flavor? Okay, I haven't even tried it yet. I just, I just did. Oh, we, okay. oh, there's the buddy. There's the pussy cat. Oh, scooty. <laughs> Which is. And that's yeah. what this is like? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, um. Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. is a unique flavor. What is that? That's um. Oh my god, that's good. Holy shit! Balls. Oh, fuck, I love whiskey. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Oh, man. Oh, I yeah, we're speechless now. <laughs> It's, it's like a, not a banana, but a. It is kind of like a, like a, like a, like a banana that's, that's, you know, brown, a bit brown. And, um, but, you know, maybe dipped in chocolate or maybe dipped in mole. I don't know. Like, but it's like, I know we're on that, that kick, but it, it is like a, like, yeah, like a banana's foster maybe, but like almost, almost like richer than that. Like a banana's foster mixed with like a creme brulee or like, um, Plantains. plantains. Oh yeah, no, this could be plantains. Yeah. Oh, I love plantains. Oh my gosh. But it's not sweet. Well, I they have like savory plantains. Have you had like the ones that aren't like uh, sweet? I've never eaten a plantain. You've never had a plantain? Are you serious? You've never been to that place on Venice? What's it called? They have like two or three branches. You know that Cuban place. I love plantains. Is it, is it, is it Cuban? I have like these potato chips that I got at Whole Foods that are flavored like Cuban sandwiches. Like that's mm. the flavor of the potato chips. And I have to say, they taste like Cuban sandwiches, like those pressed sandwiches. Yeah. Wow. I used to work at a restaurant called um, Bridgetown Grill, which is a Jamaican restaurant in Atlanta. And we serve plantains. Um, and uh, we also Versailles. have, we also, what? Versailles? Versailles is a Cuban restaurant and they that, that's where I've had plantains. You never heard of Versailles? I've heard of Versailles, but it's like, like isn't that the French palace? 
Well, yeah. It is, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So I feel like there was a place in Hollywood I used to go to, I think called, La, was it La Fonda? Or is that the place in Atlanta? There is a place that has like really good plantains as well. Right now, the it's definitely is. full. It's a very full over like. Oh, yeah, this is. It's like a full meal kind of like. Once again, I don't want to science this. Like it's so good the way it is, you know? Let me pour a little more in there though. Oh boy. Oh, oh wow. Fuck, I love whiskey. This is like just this experience is is remarkable, and I know we probably had to have the other whiskeys before it to get to this sixty point whatever we are at here, sixty point one. Um, but wow, wow! Like I think yeah. the, ex, the the red wine cask, I think that's what's giving it that kind of um, more more savory kind of red note, for lack of a accurate term. Savory plantains foster, perhaps with a dash of allspice. Yeah, I could see that. <laughs> I mean, on I fire. Smell it. I can smell it and taste it. Yeah, on Blonde fire. Well, there's, there's definitely some caramelization going on in here. Mm -hmm. Like the, the Maillard reaction is for sure part of this flavor. And, and you know the, the funk that we got in the nose of the first one? I'm getting that kind of in the finish. In the back. Here, mm -hmm. kind of like a little funkiness just on the, the front of the tongue. Fucking love whiskey. Oh, yeah, I know. It's crazy, isn't it? It's just, just, just what, a, what a thing. Uh, me, me too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I love about whiskey? Because um, I am not, if you couldn't tell, I'm not a whiskey connoisseur. Um, I just drink all alcohol. Except for white wines and weedy things, because I've gotten allergic. Like in my adulthood, it's very, it's very um, sad actually. With the white wines, I, I get that fresh branch break. You know, the fresh green branch break in the in the uh -huh. nose of the white wines. I, I don't like white wines for that reason. Sorry, go ahead. Oh no, I mean, like I've never I, been a fan of white wines. I've always liked red. I think mean, like Cabernet is that's my you know dry wines. But anyway, but I think Julie had a point, and we were totally yeah. Just here. Yeah, thanks, thanks guys. It's getting steamrolled here. No, no, <laughs> no, but I, I think I've actually developed an allergic reaction to like certain white wines, definitely champagnes and weedy beers because I'll drink and I'll have a good time. And then all of a sudden I can't breathe. It's like my heart starts, starts beating. And then I kind of, it feels like a panic attack. I mean, I'm fine, but it's like, okay, I, I just need to like chill for like 30 minutes and then I'll be okay. It's a very awesome. weird thing. So good. I'm glad that's not happening with whiskey because whiskey is your friend. Whiskey makes you smart. Well, whiskey is a very comforting yeah. liquor. It's very comforting. I, I love whiskey. It's it's so like, even even if the first taste is like, oh, that's that's, that's alcohol. I mean, it's, it, you just like bond with it, and then you and then you go to bed with it. You know. Wow, you're, are you saying you're easy for alcohol? Hmm. For whiskey? Oh, yeah. I mean, whiskey whiskey can always get in there. Whiskey in particular, yeah. Yeah. like whiskey has always been able to grab me. Like you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing I like about whiskey, one of the things I like about it is um, you know how much alcohol you're drinking, you know, like you take a sip of it and it's, it's, there's no hidden, it's like, hey, no, I'm, I'm strong. And you, you know, you feel it, it burns. It's like, you know, it's like, hey, it, and it's a reminder too of like, you're a live person. Like you feel this, right? It's yeah, not yeah. like, you know, like beer, you can like, you drink it and it's like, oh, I like the, you know, if you yeah. like the taste of it, you like the taste of it. And it's like, and you're, like, and you can, that's yeah, amazing. you don't have to have glass after glass like you do with beer or wine and, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I love what Bodie Cooper said way earlier in the chat here. I love that alcohol makes the bad smells enjoyable. I think the alcohol makes the smell safe to the brain, which I think is just such a great quote. That's actually very beautiful. Yeah. He's a little poet. He's a little poet. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yes. No, that's, so, that's so comforting. I'm gonna cry, that's really mm -hmm. lovely. Bodie Cooper, how dare you make our guest cry? Well, especially in these times, right? I mean, be, these times, like, I mean, we all say these times, and, and we all know what that means. Um, it's just a beautiful way of putting things. Yeah. It is easier to cry, I feel like. I feel like I've cried more in the past year, I think, than I have, like, my entire life, perhaps, you know? Like, I don't know. Like, what a year, yeah. Tough yeah. moments, yeah. Just where the isolation just really got to me. I, I, I know it. Anyway. Yeah. Hope things yeah. get better. 
it seems like they are, but you know, we still have a lot of work to do. Yeah, we're only down to last year's death toll. Like we're not, we're not back to you know March of the you know. Uh. We're still in the summer of last year, so. Um, no, no, this this channel isn't is. It, are you guys political at all? I know I know Joseph is because I follow Joseph on social media. But I guess his channel goes. The reason I got off social media is just like it's just a. I can't. I need to sleep at night. I can't be yeah. neurosing about these things. I yeah, know. we usually save the political conversations for after we turn the stream off, just because we try to like. I think most people are sympathetic to our views, but. Yeah. We try to have a little, you know, um, what's the word? Uh, uh, an oasis. Yeah. <laughs> We're thinking about yeah, that. Stuff. This is not about that. Start, this is about yeah. a, a tradition of, of artistry and science um, in combination and, and just how much we fucking love it. And the nostalgia it brings up with us, the, the associations, the wonderful people we get to meet like you. Yeah. Um, yeah it's and, and like the comfort. That it brings. Yes, exactly, a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You know, it's interesting that that second one that, that, that both of you loved so much. Um, I, I honestly feel like maybe in ten years I'll probably like appreciate it more. You know what I mean? Like, do you ever have that awareness where it's like I can see how I could love love this? Not yet. Did you ever get that? Yeah. Um. And I, I'm 40, but uh, I, I think with a few more years, I think with, with, with the Loch Lomond. Loch Lomond, yeah. Loch, Loch Lomond, yeah, yeah. I think with a few more years, I'll, I'll learn. You'll settle for it. Learn. <laughs> no, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not a sub, it's, 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 it's like a learning thing. Cause that, that, that was the one with that decay thing going on, right? It was, yeah, it was yeah. a complicated approach, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like one of those things, like my dad loved blue cheese dressing. And as a kid, I was always like, what the f Why would you, why? And right. now it's like, and I don't, I don't necessarily love it, but I do eat it sometimes. Like in like, I'll dip carrots in it. Like, or I will, you know, like on a Cobb salad, I like blue cheese. Like, you know, I, but blue cheese itself, like the, I will not eat blue cheese, but blue cheese dressing, like I will partake of it, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll never eat cottage cheese. Never, never. Oh, Bodie Cooper said, said, I'm not 40. I'm maybe 33. Oh. Yeah, I, I would have not have expected. Like, I would I, not I mean, and I've known you for a long time, Julia, and I would never think that you like. Well, Joseph, still, you know me. You still seem like in your 20s to me. Like, well, honestly, yeah. Like, you, know. you met me in my 20s. Yeah. And I think I, I met you in your, in your 30s. I think I'm 27. Yeah. And when I look in the mirror and I'm like, I'm clearly not 27. Well, 29, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> we should all do this to look to feel younger. <laughs> I found some pictures of myself at 25 just recently. These old negatives that I hadn't developed, and I got a little app on my phone that lets you kind of put it in front of a screen and take a picture, and it does the reverse, and you get the photos out. And oh my God, what a young punk I was! What a what a cute kid. Do at you the have the photo I, now? I'm sure I have it here. Can, can, can you do one of those like, oh, like he, here's a photo, you know, those like makeup YouTube tutorial things for that, you know, like here's a product and I'm going to have to do this because of the lighting. So you can, see. can you do that with your photo of when you were 25? Yours, Andrew, I that's what I'm getting to your, your photo when you were 25, which is, which is when Joseph met me. I think when I was 25. Aww. What a little punk. You look like a rock star. Oh my God, look at your chin. I know, I had a chin. I was in a oh. band. Uh, those are um, post- uh, Well, yeah, you look like a band, like a rock star. I was, I was a drummer. You look, like, you look like you should be in Weezer. Exactly, yes. Was that yeah, those loud? Those glasses were not popular in the 80s. I was I was not popular with you were You were ahead of your time. I was ahead wow. of my time. <laughs> Can I see that photo again, Andrew? Do you mind? <laughs> it's, such, it's such a great photo. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's it's hilarious, and it's um, I did this. I don't. I couldn't remember why I had these negatives, and I did a whole photo series, a tour of my apartment at the time for my friends uh, who lived in Toronto, and this was me in Calgary. And this was my uh. first apartment moving out of my home, um, and it was a basement apartment. It was awful. The stove was like a little, um, you know, one of those. Uh, what do you call those? Uh, standalone. What are they? A hot plate, basically. Okay. So it was a hot plate. There was no stove in this place. It was an illegal apartment by any standard. <laughs> but it was my first. 
You um, look great and totally from Weezer. Yeah, totally. Oh, I see rock star Harry Potter. I'm loving Bodie Cooper. I, I'm loving your comments, dude. Rock star. Um, well, I, I say dude, but I, I don't know. I mean, because these days pronouns are a big thing. Yeah, you can call him a dude. He That's okay. Dude. okay, okay, okay. And so is uh, Bodie Cooper. And uh, yeah, rock star Harry Potter, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, we love you, oh, Bodie Cooper. But I did, like, did, did we check in with Thad about the art more? Uh, no, but we should, because this is... This is yeah. This is whiskey exceptional. Meal. What do you think, Thad? Oh, I think it's delightful. It's uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna say it's my favorite. Like I, I, I do think Babel Air is, is my top for that one, and I probably only say that because I'm biased because I had a chance to buy a bottle of that, and I decided to go with some other bottle. <laughs> um, it's hard. It's hard because you don't you can't taste these in advance when they're single cask things. You don't know. Yeah, I mean it was also what like. What like one twenty for that bottle? For the Ardmore? Yeah, no Babelair, not not, not the Ardmore. One twenty? That's like a tenth of rent, y'all. <laughs> a tenth of rent? Where do you live, man? My rent's more than that. <laughs> oh, I live in Glendale, so we're good here. <laughs> yeah. Joseph used to live in Glendale, so I. Hear. I did. Yeah, the rent there is generally pretty reasonable. Yeah. It's so reasonable. Or thirteen rights to cast. I'm living in the wrong place then, because because I play. This was, I, this was I pay more than that. <laughs> it was uh, 110. Okay, sorry. 110. Wow. Yeah, 110. You know what I love about that is that he is unmoved or unswayed by any of our conversation <laughs> prior to his oh. opinion. <laughs> oh, it's it that which which I love. Yeah, it's yeah. refreshing. Yeah. Like... Yeah, no, I, and, and we love having different opinions on the show. It's like it's absolutely. It's, it's, I, I love us. And if anything, uh, that is you, you you sway me. <laughs> I try not to. That is kind of like an anchor of the show in many, yeah. many like all aspects, really. Because yeah. we're like, oh, it's a candy store. Oh, no, it is like salmon. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's what uh, the SMWS says about this whiskey. The panel noted a boisterous and playful aroma of poster paint in an artist's studio. Old, oxidatively aged wines, smoked black currant, sauteed frog legs in butter. I can see the butter. Butter. Still broth, mushroom powder, and black peppered bitlong. Bilt, biltong? Bit, bitlong? Bilt, B-I-L-T-O-N-G. I don't know that word. Biltong. Um, you know, that sounds Filipino for some reason for me, but I'm going to look it up just to... Okay. Just be, it just sounds, but I, I could be totally wrong. With reduction, we encountered a lumberjack's woodshed full of cold axe heads, freshly split logs, and oiled chainsaw. Add to that a uh, roof pitch, freshly laid tarmac, and fermenting lemons. The palate was surprisingly saline with uh, salt baked venison, caviar, salted pistachios, and sheep wool oils. Water brought out the warmth of a horseradish, English, English mustard, Belgian farmhouse ale, duck eggs, pickled ginger, and sweet cough medicine. Matured for 12 years in a bourbon hogshead before transferred to a second filled red wine barrique. So I looked at Biltong. And? It is a cured meat from South Africa. The so Bitlong or Biltong? Biltong. B-I-L-T-O-N-G. A Biltong. Yeah, it's, it's South Like South, a jerky. Like yeah, a jerky. it's a South African jerky or... Um, That's freaking like, specific, man. <laughs> also, it's like... Uh, it mentions ostrich meat. Hmm. I've never had ostrich. Have, have you all had ostrich? I've never I, eaten ostrich. I don't know. I've had kangaroo, though. Never had croc legs either. I've had croc. I've had alligator. I've had alligator. Um, Wait, hold on. I want to hear about this kangaroo. In this... Vancouver, there, there's this little floating restaurant. It's on like a houseboat, and they had a special one night. And I, I'm generally a vegetarian, but oh. you know, I ate meat when I was in Canada, and so I was back there for a conference, and okay. uh, I tried it, and it was good. What's it? What's it? Is it like chicken? I, it, no, it was more like um, filet mignon. Like it was more like a red, really? surprisingly. Um, and it was, I, oh. I would eat kangaroo, like uh, you know, because people like always think kangaroos are adorable and cute, but those animals are bastards. They will, are they, they mean? Will, they will, they will fuck, they will fuck you up. Like their back legs, they will rip right. your bowels out. They will rip everything like from your navel down. They'll just tear it out. <laughs> like that's that's a kangaroo. If they don't like you, they'll just like, like they're okay. Velo- they're, they're mammal velociraptors basically. So it's a kangaroo meat. Like, do you hunt them or do you raise them for farming? Like, do you farm them or do you hunt them? Dinner. 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 
Did anybody did science really? this? Is anybody going to science this? I have a question. I did science it, and you know, um, I did, and I, oh, I, I think this, this is what that is. I, I have any. <laughs> We've lost the leash of the show, I know. running off without us. <laughs> <clears throat> we are. Um, so here's the sad thing: we are the last show on Outpost 13. It's going through a metamorphosis over the summer, and it's going to become outside in the theater, and it's going to be on YouTube instead of Twitch. So um, please go over there right now to Outside In on YouTube and follow them. Do that right now. Do it. Wait, hold on. So just for, clar for clarification, this show is no longer on Twitch? I mean, we're on Twitch right now. No, no, I, I understand but that, Andrew. The, <laughs> I mean, and we also have our past episodes are all over on YouTube. If you look for I Effing Love Whiskey, you can see our past episodes. And this one will be up in a week or so. Um, but week? What? How long is it? Anyway. Well, okay. So <laughs> You gotta do like editing and like, you know, like color correction. There's a lot of, it has to go to the executives. They have to approve everything. Sign I off. Part, points where I look stupid. So that's my most of the show. Okay, so this, so this is currently on Twitch, obviously. And yeah. then it goes on YouTube. Right, but, but next, future, next season, next season. When season. we're now no longer up post 13, we're gonna be part of in, outside in theater, OI. Um, we're going to be on YouTube directly. And we're also oh, trying to figure out how to stream directly to Instagram at the same time. Uh, there's stuff happening over the summer. It's really great. But you can follow them now outside in theater on YouTube right now, and you'll be uh, appraised about coming things. Because one of the things they do is like made up music. Alex and Arlo get on here, take suggestions, and then make up a song um, as you watch. They're fantastic musicians. They record things. They'll ask for suggestions for like tempo and for lyrics and for names and, and blah, blah, blah. And it's just, it's, it's amazing. Even sometimes keys, like, hey, shout out keys, people. E, G, H, you know, H is not a key. Okay, but A, all right. H flat. Um, H is not, H flat. That's, that's still not a key, man. V minor, you know. V minor? V minor, yeah. V, Z minor. D v minor. Oh, v, yeah. B, D, you know what? This is. It's. X X sharp diminished. It's fantastic. Anyways, um, it's a outside reason. in. Yeah. They currently have a YouTube channel, like active live. Yes, they they have started it up. I think a week or two ago. Yes, yeah, so it's just called outside in. Outside you in know? theater, I think. Theater. Um, R R E or E R. I think with an R E, the correct way to spell it. They're fancy. They will get into all theater. Canadian or British? Maybe. Theater. Okay, um, outside in theater. So do that. Uh, I have a I have a question for Julia. Yeah, yeah I love questions. Oh, yeah. this oh, this is, I, I love questions. Is it I about my, my sexual Andrew's... history? No, it's not. It is is it? We'll we'll save that Whatever. for after the show, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll after. yeah. Uh but this is for the show. And for the, I, for think, the show. I think I think Andrew kind of is anticipating this because oh. this is a it's kind of a serious question. Uh, okay, for... yeah, 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 yeah. What's what's up? So Julie, you've had four whiskeys here. Actually, I've had five because I don't know if this is a secret for the audience, but prior uh, to the show, we've been um, getting this. Is this, is this working? This is you, you can't see it. Can you see it now? Yeah, we can see it. Yeah, bank note. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Okay, you've had five whiskeys. I'm sorry. I, I yeah. We I just do, want to tell the. I just want to be you know like above board. You've ruined the show now. <laughs> so, so, so I'm not to be above board. They must never know that we have bank notes. That <laughs> they must have a secret. No, full transparency. We we do drink banknote to warm just, up. Before. Just to like wet the palate, so it's not like whoa alcohol, right? Yeah. yeah well, the first thing we had was fifty three percent. So yeah, that's. And can I just say, I really like. <laughs> I really yeah, banknote's like great. Banknote. Banknote's great, banknote's great and, and very like, reasonably priced. Yeah. I, I yeah. I'm gonna go for this. Um, yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm so sorry. This 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 question. We'll get to yes. it. Oh. So here's the question. Yeah. Julie. So you've had five whiskeys. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, by the way. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And if you if you if you want referrals for future guests, I have a ton of friends who are like, "What? You get to drink whiskey? Like they just bring it to you?" I'm like, "Yeah, dude. Like I have a list of people who'd love to be on your show." Great. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We'll, 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 yeah. Let's sorry, I, I keep sidelining this, this serious question. I'm so sorry. Okay. Serious. You've got to just like. I feel like my dad now. Sorry. Pietra. Oh, I'm glad I said Tispy. Tipsy asparagus. Pietra. Right. Because the R E T 
T-R-E would be theater. Theater. Which is what outside in is, but that's how it's spelled. Can, can you confirm that, Andrew? Well, I'm, I'm Googling it right do. now. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Outside in theater. Theater, theater. You're going to put it in the chat, right? Well, we should have um, Thaddeus do that because isn't that... Well, you oh, do you do that? I don't know who does what. You can't tell online. No, things Bodie just, Cooper. Thing, things just happen. His Bodie Cooper like actually subscribed to them. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh! All done. All all the information you own. Highland Park, my neck of the woods, because I live in Glendale. <gasps> don't stalk me or do. I don't care. <laughs> but Highland Park. That's right. That's right over there. You know what? I'm, we are the final show on Outpost 13, so it doesn't really matter that we're going on so we can go on as long as we want. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, sleepover! <laughs> I love sleepovers. You know what my okay, cause now I have lit whiskey in me, like I just wanted things to go on forever. Um, I don't like saying bye. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Well, you know, Julie, we can keep talking, and we generally do after the show, after we stop from broadcasting oh, good. as well. So, good. Yeah. Well, can, can we invite Bodie Cooper and yeah. um, Tipsy yeah. Asparagus course, to, the, yeah, yeah. to this conversation? Yeah. We can have like a secret Zoom meeting after this. Wrap up. But we have a question to ask. I'm sorry. Okay. Julie. Okay. All right. Here's All right. The question. So had, let me. Sorry. Had five whiskeys today. Yes. You tasted them all. Yeah. Once you're tasting them, huh? Julie Lee. Yeah. Joseph Limbaugh. Mm -hmm. Do you uh -huh. like whiskey? Ooh, ooh, do I like whiskey? This is a show, right? So we have to like, okay. I mean, okay, okay, honestly, I'm gonna talk just directly into the camera. Do I like whiskey? I mean, there's so many alcohols to choose from, right? So do, do, do I like whiskey? Like, it's okay. You like, like, like no. <gasps> I fucking love whiskey. Fuck yeah. Like I have all these, like, like this is, I, I got all these whiskeys that was just like sent. I mean, can we reveal how this is sent behind the scenes? I get sent these like vials of whiskey and I was like, fuck yeah, Joseph, sign me up. And then I got all these fancy whiskeys that was just sent to me. And I was like, oh my God, what did I do? to deserve this in life. Like I must have some good fucking karma to, to, to get all, I've already finished the Ardmore. There's, 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 I still have a little wow. left and I, I'm probably gonna good. finish it today though. Cause it's fucking- but I amazing. love whiskey. And you know what, can I, can I be honest? I love it even more knowing more of the process, the, the, the processes behind this because there's a, I, I didn't even know that this kind of thing would, like was a thing to the science behind. Okay. The pipette, which Joseph thought was just a uh, eyedropper, but can you show? Can you, can you prove to the audience that like what it's, you know, like it is actually officially called? Oh, the pipette. Boom! It says it's droppers, though. It also says droppers there. Droppers. Pipette. It doesn't say I, Joseph. It doesn't say I. Mm. Nowhere does it say I. Mm. It says pipette, and that's the word that you were challenging, Joseph. I just want to put it out there. I fucking love whiskey. I fucking love whiskey too. And I love it even more. I, you know, I, I, cause be, I had to be honest, but like prior to this, I was just like, like an alcohol enthusiast, like, except for um, the, like, like the weedy beers and the white wines. That was just because of my, my health, my, my health issues. Cause these allergies, when yeah. you age, things change, it sucks. Yeah. But um, I've always liked whiskey cause it, 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 it never, um, was bad to me, <laughs> like, you know, it was always comforting. And then, and then you go to bed with it, you know what I mean? It, it was always a comforting thing, but now like knowing more of the cask stuff and the malt and the grain. And the crazy flavors you can get out of it. Amazing. Like they work so hard on this and, and like all yeah. of this, there's so much to learn about the and entire the process. And the science yeah. and the gnomes that are involved in this. The kissy gnomes. <laughs> the kissy gnomes. <laughs> What a party! I fucking love whiskey, man. And, and honestly, I have to thank both of you for like getting me to this point. Like, fuck, we can cuss on this show. I mean, this show's called "I Fucking Love." Actually, it's not "I Fucking Love Whiskey." It's "I Percentage." Well, okay. Like <laughs> it's on the website, but I mean, the show is "I Fucking Love Whiskey." That's the show. So. It's pretty. It's pretty clear what it's meant to be. Yeah. yeah. Yes, no, that, that is true. That's why there's 
There's a... um, Julie, thank you so much for being a guest uh, with us. Thank you, Outpost 13, for being our home. We're looking forward to Outside in Theater when we come back in August sometime. Um, thank you, Thaddeus uh, Wessinger, for being just the best technical person we could ever have to run the show. Does so many great things, all the great graphics and all that stuff coming up is, is so much on him. Aaron Harvey for the actual graphics. Um, uh, Cody Bushy for our bot. And mostly you folks at home for tuning in. Thank you so much. Um, we freaking love you. Um, come back to Outside In Theater. It, it, I think we're going to try to, once we're allowed to have in-person uh, events again, try to have this show be done live and stream it at the same time. So if you come and get tickets, uh, you know, they'll be um, a little bit more expensive than tickets. And then park? But we would let you have a sample of what we're tasting and we can all taste it together and we can go to the audience for, for some feedback. And I think that's really exciting to me. Um, I think Joseph also feels that way. Uh, uh, yeah. So does Julie Lee. Yeah, so Highland Julie Park. Lee. You know, you should try to find property there because like rates are going, I mean, Highland Park is like the shit right now. Like, yeah, Well, I mean, outside in theater has got funding to, to have the space that they're renovating and, and, and getting prepped. To but like, if you live far away, buy a house, <laughs> buy property because property values just keep going up to Highland Park. It's like the newest place to, you know, like the gentrification. But hey, you could profit off of that, you know? So if you have the money to... Just I'm drunk. Look, look, <laughs> look what you did. You finished off the entire two ounces of the, the final whiskey, which is good. But I mean, like, well, that's, you know, you've had two shots instead of one. So, uh, happened. yeah, no, this is a fantastic. Is it just an hour? How long has this been? It's yeah. been an hour it's been and an hour uh, and 20 minutes. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Way over time. It's the last show, so we could just sleep it over. Right? It, we could keep going. We could keep going. We're just gonna sit and squat on this on this channel. Sorry, Outpost Thirteen, you're not over yet. Cook some ramen here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I, okay. I, yeah. Oh, I, I I have a prop cigarette. Who, who, who. You have to have a prop cigarette around, don't you? Yeah. That's what you gotta have. Where's your Where's oh, yours? This is a roll of paper. Are you an actor or not, Joseph? Uh, I used. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, my hat! My hat! I put my hat away. Oh well. This is a red gummy bear. Oh, that's pretty good. I just I just painted it red with a. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, works works enough. Well, now, anyway, now I actually, okay, sorry. Okay. You want to get on and, the the merry go round and 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 ride it for a little bit? Uh, yeah, party. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. What is the um speed? What is the uh, maximum speed of your spinning uh, ride? Uh, um, uh, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hey, you. Oh my gosh, don't, <laughs> please don't open my envelopes. Please don't do that. <laughs> um, before this goes completely off the rails. Uh, I I, think or it say, does. Thank you, Outpost 13. Thank you, everyone. We love you. Have a wonderful night. Um, oh, um, things coming up. So Sonder is coming up on uh, Impro underscore TV on Twitch uh, tonight. And uh, that is, uh, you know, uh, there's two shows. I'm in the second one um, after having that whiskey. Let's see how that goes. Uh, Joseph, what do you got coming up? I'm just still working on Blackbird. So keep an eye out at Blackbird's RPG for um, the Kickstarter. Where it's a game that I've been working on like throughout the pandemic and um, very excited about it. So follow them on Twitter. Check that out. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Um, and Julie, what, what's going on with you? What's to cold tofu? What's you? What's what's what? You know, actually, we're going to do a show with Outside In next month, and then also a show with at to the Impros Twitch next month as well. Um, I didn't know we were doing this. So, yeah, if you want, it's julie.com for the latest news on stuff that I'm doing. It's, it's mostly directing uh, readings and stuff, but yeah, like, cool. Yeah. Go there and watch awesome. stuff. All right, kids. See you next year. No, it won't be next year. See you, uh, you know, in August. See you later this year. Bye, y'all.